I wanted to do a video about um, playing a groove. Um, I seem to do videos about sounding all the time, but um, I kind of approach a groove in the same way as I approach a solo. Every note has to mean something. Um, every note has to have a a certain characteristic. So how do you play it? Do you play short? Do you play long? Do you play loud? Do you play quietly? Um, so I've just been fooling around with um, a little groove. At the end of the flute solo on aeroplane, um, well, there's some amazing lines in that solo, actually. You can you can isolate those lines and turn them into grooves. So on, the, I think, the last two bars of that solo, he does like a... Great, great line. So if you're going to play it as a groove... How are we going to approach each note? Everybody's going to play it differently. Um, uh, but the idea is to make it groove. So if you just play it, you know, it doesn't it doesn't sound good. So you've got to think about it. For me, you know, first note, I play it short. Second note, long. Second two notes, short. Hammer on. Maybe to put a little bend on there. Long, short. Also, the, the the volume. That's quite loud. It's quite quiet. Little bend on the end there. So it's getting carried away there. So just think about the notes. Don't think, you know, when you think about a groove, think about the notes. Think about how you're going to approach each note. How are you going to make it sound interesting? You should be able to play a groove without drums, without metronome, without anything, and you should be able to make it sound good. That's when you know you're really starting to nail it. So just think about the notes. Maybe I'll do another um, video about fills. Um, there's a lot to be said for the fills that people put in. You know, a um, lot of bass players head up here. It's like, oh, I'm going to do a fill now and it's going to be up here. We're still playing bass. It's still really down here. I mean, it's nice, you know. I think I did a something, something like that. Um, most, most fills... You want to stay down here, you know, that's where it sounds good. You start jumping up here all the time, you know, it, you, you, you're sort of losing the whole emphasis of the fact you're playing a groove. So uh, maybe that's another video I do another time, but think about the notes, think about every note in a groove as you would in a solo or as you would in a melody. Um, how are you going to play it? Um, you know, if you just play all the notes. Same volume, same feel, then you might as well just press, press play on a computer. Um, okay, so just think about that and come up with your own ways of playing it. Um, check out that solo. Just check out the lines. Take the lines out. I mean, learn the solo, but um, take the lines out and, learn, and work on them as, as groups because there's some really nice lines there. Um, and um, don't play with a drum machine, don't play with a metronome. Make it sound good purely on your own. Because if you can sound good on your own, when you play with other musicians, you're going to sound amazing. Okay.